in school, you know, there are certain things that um, your brother was able to do like extremely well because he was like a traditional student. Mm -hmm. And as a traditional student, I feel teachers love traditional students because they are the ones who can absorb information quickly. They uh, listen intently. Uh, they love to read or do hard problems and those type of challenging things and can really uh, do those in a relatable way. Mm. I feel like that um, kind of is a description of what a traditional student is in terms of like a teacher perspective. And for you, I feel like learning came a little bit differently because you were an experiential learner. Um, and sometimes teachers don't nat naturally gravitate towards experiential learning like they do a traditional learner. So can you share a little bit about your experience as an experiential learner? I think really through maybe elementary school, I'd say like having like that transition between being like, you know, traditional style and experiential style. And I think like that really came to like being a visual learner. And that was really just so, whether it was like math or English, kind of just like putting things together, um, but that's to building blocks, Legos, whatever it took to like just get the material in my head um, was really, was really incredible. And I think that really came to fruition um, when I changed middle schools due to redistricting. I think like the teachers were a little bit more flexible in making that transition from, you know, just being strictly focused on just traditional students at all to being both, okay, I can be a little bit more flexible with having traditional and experiential and other teaching styles and kind of like conjoining all those together. Um, so definitely that was like kind of how they were. Um, I think the different teaching styles helped me definitely as a student for sure. Because that teaching style is one that I had to fight for, advocate hmm. for. There were so many teachers, uh, specifically in elementary school, that did not want to hone in on that specific learning style. And I think I just kept pressing buttons, kept sending emails, kept sending case studies, research papers on um, the importance of having a different learning style and what that could mean. Because I knew the talents that you possessed but I don't know if they necessarily wanted to tap into those talents. But uh, eventually I got some buy-in from administration um, and that trickled down to the educator and where the educator ended up saying, you know what? OK, I'm going to try it your way. And I mean, she just didn't know she was going to have to try it my way anyway because <laughs> I wasn't going to let up. But then once she did, she was just amazed at your growth because I knew what that was. I mean, I had homeschooled you. I had homeschooled your brother. So I knew the learning styles that you brought to the table. Um, I just needed them to listen and to have that buy-in mm -hmm. in order for you to uh, grow and advance the way that you did and the way that they saw that you did over that time. 